Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial. It's lots of logarithms. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at the laws of logarithms and give detailed examples of each of the laws. So we start with the first law. This is log m plus log n is equal to log m n. So here, if you have two logarithms of the same base and you are adding them, it is picking the logarithm and multiply the numbers involved. So if you are adding, you multiply. So we look at uh, examples with respect to this law. Um, A log 2 plus log 7. Um, if the logarithm of a number is given and the base is not indicated, it is base 10. So with this, this is the same base with this, they are of the same base. So what we do is we say log 2 plus here becomes times 7. So we now have it as log 14. So this is the application of this uh, law of logarithms. So for the second example, we have log 9 plus log 5 all to the same base. So we just say it is log 9 times 5 which gives log 45. For your information, this law too can be reversed. It could be log mn to be equal to log m plus log n. So we still give example to reflect that. So example C, we have a log 4 plus log 8 plus log 3. So all of these are of the same base and uh, we are adding them. So at the other side, we say log 4, this is plus log 8. That will now give us times 8 plus log 3, which gives times 3. 4 times 8, 32 times 3 gives 96. So we have log 96 here. And uh, now I have log 24. Log 24. We look at how we can split 24 as product of its factors. So we now have the 24 is 2 times 12, 24 is 3 times 8, 24 is 4 times 6, 24 is 2 times 3 times 4. So with respect to this, we are going to expand log 24 as such. So uh, taking the first one, we have it as uh, log 2 plus log 12. Log 2 plus log 12. If you are multiplying, you add. So in the same vein, we have it as log 3 plus log 8. Uh -huh. Log 4 plus log 6. And finally, we have it as log 2 plus log 3 plus log 4 because from here we can reverse back so we have log 24 expanded in 1 2 3 4 ways so we go to the second law log m minus log n is equal to log m over n in this law subtraction of two log reading of numbers is just to divide the numbers under the same logarithms. So we take example here. Um, we have a uh, log 9 minus log 8. Log 9 minus log 8 will give us log 9 over 8. Log 9 over 8. We have it there. We take the second example. Um, log 15 minus log 3 will give us as log 15 divided by log 3 
and 15 divided by 3 gives 5 so our final answer there is log 5 so we go to C log 45 base 3 plus log 7 base 3 minus log 15 base 3 this is combination of the first law and this uh, current law so here we have it as log 45 times 7 then divide by 15 so if you are adding you multiply that's the basis for multiplication here if you are subtracting you divide so we have divided by 15 here 15 goes into 45 gives 3 3 times 7 gives 21 so i have it as log 21 base 3. for example here we have log 3 over 4 so if you are dividing you subtract so we say log 3 minus this division log 4 so this is the reverse form of the law if you reverse the log that is log m over n is log m minus log n so these are the examples we can give for now on this law so we go to the next law log m to be its m is equal to 1 logarithm of any number to the base is 1 so look at examples here we have a uh, log 5 to base 5 is equal to 1 the second example log 8 to base 8 gives 1 the third example log 10 to base 10 is 1 so logarithm of a number to the base of that number is 1 so we go to the next law the next law is log m to the power of p is p log m or if you have p log m is the same thing as log m to the power of p so let's look at some examples here we have log 25 25 is a perfect square so it can be written as log 5 squared and uh, looking at this law we can bring down this uh, 2 so that we have it as 2 log 5 2 log 5 that is the first application of this uh, law of log readings so we go to the second example in this second example we have log 8 to base 2 and uh, 8 can be expressed as index form of 2 so we have it as log 2 raised to power 3 base 2 and this 3 can now come down so this becomes 3 log 2 base 2 3 log 2 base 2 from the previous uh, law the immediate law before this we need log 2 to base 2 is 1 so we now have 3 times 1 which gives our final answer as 3 so we have completely simplified to get the value of log 8 base 2 here we go to the next example the this example is a reverse form of this uh, law if it is still reverse it becomes p log m is equal to log m raised to power p so the same thing we are going to do here this is going to be log 4 raised to the power of 3 and 4 to the power of 3 is 64 so we have it as log 64 as our final answer to 3 log 4 so we go to the next law log 1 to base m is equal to 0 logarithm of 1 to any base is 0 logarithm of 1 to any base is 0 so look at our examples here we have a log 1 base 8 is equal to 0 the second example log 1 to base 7 is 0 the third example log 1 to base 12 is uh, 
zero. So logarithm of one to any base is a zero. So we go to the next law. Log m to base n is equal to log m to base a over log n to base a. This is called change of base. The base here is n. It has been changed to a. So when you change it to a, it becomes the logarithm of m to the new base over logarithm of n to the new base as expressed in this law. So we take some examples. We have a log 3 base 9. We can change it since uh, 3 and 9 are multiples of 3. We can now change to new base of 3. We can change it to log 3 base 3 over log 9 base 3 log 9 base 3 and uh, 9 is a perfect square it can be written as index form of 3 so I go ahead to say log 3 base 3 over log 3 squared base 3 so applying the law of logarithms we just learned we have it as log 3 base 3 over 2 log 3 base 3 and we know log 3 base 3 is 1 and also log 3 base 3 here gives 1 multiplied by 2 gives a 2 so we have simplified log 3 base 9 to be 1 over 2 so we go to the second example log 32 base um, it is not always we look for the number whose uh, 32 and the base are multiple of to change to the base. We can change to base 10 so that we now have it as log 32. We have stated it earlier if the base is not indicated it is base 10 over log 8. And uh, also 32 can be expressed as index form of 2 as well as 8. So we have log 32 to be written as log 2 to the power of 5 over log 2 to the power of 3. Since 2 raised to the power 3 is 8. So we can now apply the law by bringing down these powers so that we now have 5 log 2 over 3 log 2 so log 2 will cancel log 2 so we'll be left with 5 over 3 expressing this as mixed fractions we have it as one whole number 2 over 3 so this log 32 base 8 is 1 2 over 3 these are the examples we can have on this uh, law. So we go to the next law. And uh, this is not actually a law, but a relationship that exists between logarithms and indices. Between logarithms and indices. If log m to base n is equal to x, then m is equal to n to the power of x n to the power of x so this m will still be standing this is the base here it is still representing the base so to the power of uh, x so let's take some examples given that log 25 base x is x find the value of x so here applying this uh, relationship we have it as 25 is equal to 5 to the power of x 25 can be written as index form of 5 that gives 5 squared is equal to 5 to the power of x so here the bases are equal therefore the indices are also equal so that x will be equal to 2 so we have gotten the value of x to be equal to 2 for the second example Given that log 0.25 base 2 is equal to y, 
find the value of y so applying this uh, relationship we have 0 0.25 is equal to 2 raised to power y 0 0.25 is fraction is 1 over 4 and 1 over 4 in index form is 2 to the power of negative 2 2 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power y again the indices are equal so y is equal to negative 2 so we have gotten the value of y to establish the relationship to be true so this is the end of the tutorial for laws of logarithms and uh, remember to subscribe to our youtube channel owning up resources like and uh, share this video until we come your way again we say goodbye